being an attacking minded outside back is very beneficial, especially in the system that we play. Obviously our first priority is to defend, um, but we also, we like to get into the attack, we like to add numbers, um, and I think it, it kind of goes into our overall philosophy that we, we want to defend with numbers and we also want to attack with numbers. Once I receive it, I'm always trying to face forward, receiving the ball and looking at options going forward, because that's what we want to do. Coaches, they try and, you know, put you back there and think that you're going to be held back on defense, but not me. I like going forward, I love it. And so when I get into the attack, I always want to make sure that I'm connecting passes, getting people in, getting crosses off, and basically just trying to be as effective as possible getting into the attack. That's kind of the progression of our team is that you shouldn't feel like I'm just a back getting forward. It's that we are an important part of the attack and that once we get into those spaces, it's important that we create scoring opportunities. But it's all about just you know, the timing, the positioning, and doing little combinations and trying to get end line and crossing the ball in and providing a good service for us to finish the ball and, and score goals. If I'm looking across the field and I see that my other outside back is in good position and we have a good handle on the ball where we're not going to lose it and get countered, then I absolutely go forward almost every time. If I go 1v1 and I have a lot of space, then great, I'll go 1v1, try and get end line and cross it in to provide uh, a good service for the forwards or whoever in the box to finish. You get to kind of be in that creative role for a second and I enjoy 1v1s, defending them and going as an attacker. That used to be one of my favorite things to do as a forward and it still is as an outside back. The more numbers that we can get into the attack then the more potent we can be and we can put more pressure on their back line which we want to do and make them uncomfortable so we can get in and, and try and score goals. It's a lot of running. It's a good thing we have Don Scott our fitness coach because we make 120 yard runs forward and 120 yard runs back. And it's not only being able to be quick and explosive, but also have that endurance piece. We have responsibility on both ends. And although that's really fun, it's quite tiring too. I would say we log a couple miles every game, but that's part of our job and it's part of the training. And you know, when I'm outside of camp, I do really focus a lot on my fitness. We practice a lot of crossing and a lot of different types of service because the game presents itself in different ways every time you, you get in line. So you need to be able to cross near post, far post, um, top of the box, and a little dinker into the, into the far post too. So there's a bunch of different ways to get the ball in there and you have to be good at all of them. We have some of the best attackers in the air on our team, you know, you have Abby Wabmack in there. So in my mind, when I get the ball, I'm looking to see where she is and can I, can I float this ball to her head and get a goal out of it. It's a really important piece and I think that it's integral to our team's success in the attack. And that's my job, is to get good services in, be calm on the ball, do combinations and provide a platform for our forwards to, to score goals. It's just fun playing back there. Anything that we can do to help our team win, we're going to do.